Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll continue working with Vue.js inside Visual Studio Code and we'll see different way that we can bind some data to the view template. All right. So now right here, I am inside Visual Studio Code and I am opening the same project we have opened in the last lecture. Now, before we continue, we would really appreciate if you go to the description and sign up for the mailing list in the description below you will have a chance to get our upcoming course in Vue.js and ASP.NET Core just for only $10 if you just sign up for that mailing list now we will give the course for a couple of random people for free so I hope you be a winner and like sign up to this uh, mailing list and you will get that course for free i hope okay so now let's head back to our view and let's continue uh, with the template right here now inside the template notice i have defined this new variable it's called the new data and it has some data and i used let's say like a basic way of binding the string interpretation okay now notice that we have like these two curly braces that indicates or like it's a way we are telling Vue.js you know what we want you to look for this value okay uh, defined here somewhere and display it right here in the screen okay so now if I head over to the template notice that we have the data up and running and defined on the screen okay now let's uh, go much deeper with Vue.js okay I will hit right click and I will inspect this element right here okay now notice with me that we are not seeing uh, let's say an event or uh, a way uh, like uh, how this is string interpreted how uh, like is there is an object etc we just seeing a pure html okay with some unique like you see this is the unique identifier for this view component okay and we have here some like if you notice like if you uh, this is our own image okay I can delete that oops okay so we have some just like just some pure HTML there are nothing that we can see that show us that this is there is a view js or anything else oh and if also if i open the head notice we have just like uh, some normal css okay and also if you notice the css right here it's taking the id of the component of the view js component that we have defined down here okay so now i'm sure you are wondering okay uh, how then view js uh, work with uh, our uh, docu document object model the DOM HTML okay now uh, it's work with like uh, a way uh, it's like a virtual DOM it's not like directly manipulating these uh, these HTML or like if you ever work with the ASP.NET web forms okay you will see some like different HTML values etc no it's like making a copy uh, and in uh, the behind scenes it's like uh, do its modification and then it show us the data notice that we have also like this click me event and it shows us an alert but as you notice we don't see like an event binding we don't see it directly directly okay but in the behind scene the Vue.js it's working like with a virtual dome okay and it's replicating our own uh, HTML and doing like event binding on it okay so these like some extra information I wanted to share with you all right so now let's head back to the visual studio code and let's do some more advanced data binding okay so now let's say that I want this h3 element okay I want it to be bind with this new data object so let's cut that let's remove the string interpretation but I want it to be like when the mouse hover over it I want to show uh, this string so how I can tell Vue.js to bind to this specific uh, like attribute in this element we're gonna call in and we're gonna start work with the v dash uh, v okay sorry v 
dash and the, as you notice in the IntelliSense the V dash bind directive now the V dash bind, uh, bind directive it's like telling uh, Vue.js please go ahead to this attribute we're gonna call in the title attribute and bind these data to it okay now I will need to add some text I'm gonna say here uh, binding example okay I'm gonna save that we have a successful compilation let's hit back and let's refresh our page okay let's go to the binding example and notice that when I hover over it okay we have the new data object shown in our uh, like over the mouse as a tooltip okay so as simple as that it did not like require too much effort uh, it did not take too much time we just simply t told VG, uh, Vue.js we called in the V dash okay and you will see that a lot you will see that a lot throughout this course and anywhere you will be working with Vue.js most of the time you will call in the V dash directive then you will specify the name of the directive that you want to call okay so now we have the binding example and we have the new data now now we want to see uh, some some of the powerful features with Vue.js okay now uh, Vue.js uh, it's like uh, a real time uh, reflecting the changes in your value okay so let's do that let's actually come down here to the methods okay now uh, let's just come back down here okay now I would like to add a new method I will call it change val okay then I will define a function okay now inside this function what I would like to do you see some data I want to change its value when this button or this uh, change val is called so how we can access the sum data and change its value simply by typing this dot sum data okay now be careful if you don't use this it will not work you you will get an error so i would like to say here is an new value okay let's hit end now i will take the change value right here okay i will place it right here inside the click me button and i will save i will head to the terminal and we have a successful compilation if i come back i prefer to refresh my application and i will hit click me now notice that we have this new value right here okay and whenever like we hit it it should change like uh, the sum data variable and show it to us okay now what about the v bind now if we call in the method will it change the value real time or not so let's check this out and let's try it out now i will take the new data right here i will save the function okay let's check the terminal and we have a successful compilation let's head back now I have as a tooltip here is our data now as soon as I hit the button I will see here is a new value which is the new value we have passed in to this uh, let's say data object okay and it's directly will be reflected on the UI so this is one of the this is a very nice feature about uh, Vue.js it's like uh, it's like having an observable over these uh, data objects then it change their value like directly as soon as you make a change on these values it will be directly reflected to the UI okay now before uh, we finish off let me show you one last thing now uh, can we use like the data binding or say the string interpretation specifically can we use it with the uh, methods yes we, uh, we can now what I want to do I want to define a method I will call it uh, string str val 
okay and it will be a function and just only returning a string so it will be like this return okay and say output from method okay so let's head back let's close oops let's uh, add a semicolon right here okay now we simply do the following okay uh, we will just uh, come down here to the string uh, to the UI I will add like let's add another h3 oops uh, let's sit down another h3 let's close it I will call this uh, output method output method okay now uh, I will call in uh, div okay and let's close it and we just simply need the string interpretation curly braces now notice what I will do I will call in the name of the method okay so it's str val and I will need to add in the both uh, parentheses okay otherwise it will not work it will not uh, like work correctly so let's save this let's head over to our Vue.js app and notice that we have the string interpretation worked correctly and it's now show us the value has it changed uh, or let's say the value of the method right here the str method has been printed out to the UI right here okay so I hope you enjoy and find this tutorial useful please uh, make sure you sign up to our mailing list so you can get the upcoming uh, course in Udemy you know, Vue.js and ASP.NET core only $14 and you will get also a chance to win that course for free please subscribe to our channel and make sure that you like and also share this video Thank you.